Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today we are talking about all things tempeh. If you've never heard of tempeh before, that's totally okay. I have used it in a few recipes on my blog and here on YouTube, but it's kind of like tofu in the fact that it's made from soybeans, but it's different in that the soybeans are kept whole and they're actually fermented. So some healthy gut probiotic type things fuse the tempeh together to form a block with a lot more texture. I should have some on hand, but I'll insert a picture right here so you can see what a block of naked tempeh looks like. But I really love tempeh. I might even like it more than tofu because I really love the texture and it has a nice subtle nutty flavor to it, which makes it really versatile. And just like tofu, it's easy to toss into a marinade and use it in a wide variety of ways in a ton of different recipes. So it's another great way to get some plant-based protein into your diet. And today I'm gonna to show you three different ways to do that. So I have already included some more basic tempeh recipes, uh, including my smoky tempeh and my oven baked crispy tempeh. But today I'm going to be showing you three more creative tempeh recipes that you can include in your life. And you should include, cause they're really good. Um, but anyways, we're going to be making some stovetop barbecue tempeh, some tempeh tuna salad, and last but not least, a slow cooker tempeh pot roast. All these recipes are really satisfying, really hearty and really delicious, but also made from wholesome and simple ingredients. So without further ado, let's get on to the recipes. First up, we are going to be making some sticky barbecue tempeh. And before we get started though, I wanted to show you how I typically cut my tempeh. So I just rinse the packaging off so it's clean. Then I like to cut it in half and then I usually just push the tempeh out like this. There's another inner plastic lining that sometimes can be tricky to remove. So that's just how I do it. It's nice and easy. And if you're slicing the tempeh anyways, it's all good to go. So for this recipe, we're going to slice our tempeh into eh, like half an inch uh, pieces and we're going to place them in a nonstick pan and add some broth and then we're going to simmer the tempeh until it starts to puff up and absorb some of the marinade. And then after a few minutes, we're going to add in some barbecue sauce. Guys, this recipe is really, really easy, but it's really delicious. You can use whatever barbecue sauce you like. You can make your own. I just typically use a store-bought barbecue sauce. I look for one that doesn't have corn syrup in it, it instead has cane sugar. But basically, again, we're going to saute this down until all of the water evaporates and your tempeh is nice and golden and sticky, as you can see here. And you can totally stop cooking the tempeh here. It's really delicious and yummy as it is, or you can grill it if you'd like. So you can just grease a your grill or a nonstick grill pan, add the tempeh, and then cook for a few minutes on each side until it's nice and blackened. And you can serve the tempeh however you'd like. I originally made it for these barbecue tempeh and pineapple coleslaw tacos, but it's also great and sandwiches and other things too. But if you do want to check this recipe out, I will link it below as well, just because. So next up, we are going to be making a tempeh tuna salad. This I think is the most unconventional tempeh recipe in this, well, I don't know, maybe not. Either way, we're going to make tuna salad. So first up, we're going to crumble our block of tempeh into a pot. As you can see, I just like to do it with my hands here. Um, that way you get sort of uneven chunks, sort of like the chunks in, I think it's called albacore tuna. Uh, so yeah, once your tempeh is crumbled, we're actually going to add some kombu, and if you've never heard of this before, it's a seaweed. So we're going to add that, plus some water to the pot, and then simmer it, and the seaweed is going to infuse into the tempeh and help give it more of a fishy flavor. So after you simmer it for a few minutes, this is what it looks like. The seaweed, uh, I guess, inflates, absorbs more water. That's probably a better word. And we're actually going to marinate this overnight to really maximize on the fishy flavor. So you can just put this tempeh into a jar, and then let it marinate sealed in your fridge overnight. So in the next day, we're going to make the base for our tuna salad. We're going to start with some vegan mayonnaise. I'm using the one from my blog, but you can use a store-bought one as well. We're also going to add a little mustard for some tang, plus some freshly squeezed lemon juice, some chopped parsley, and then some finely chopped red onion and celery. You want to really, really finely chop these so they're not huge chunks. They're usually chopped pretty finely if they are in tuna salad, so I wanted to stay true to that recipe. And then mix everything together until it's evenly incorporated, and then in goes our marinated tempeh you're going to drain it. You don't need to rinse it from that jar, just drain it and then add it to the bowl and mix everything together until it's smooth and creamy. And then last but not least, you can season with some salt and pepper to taste. And here I'm also adding some dulse flakes, which is another form of seaweed. This is optional, but if you really want the tempeh to taste nice and fishy, I highly recommend you add them. You can get them in most grocery stores nowadays actually, but you can also get them online. 
So your tempeh tuna salad is ready. You can keep it in the fridge and use it for meal prep or just eat it as a meal. I just put it into a little bowl here and then we have serving options. You can put it on bread to make a sandwich, maybe serve it with some lettuce cups or even use some vegan crackers. Whatever way you go, this is really satisfying, a great source of plant-based protein and perfect for on the go lunches as well. And then last but certainly not least, we're going to be making some slow cooker tempeh pot roast. This meal is so cozy, perfect for those chillier weather days. So we're going to start out with some vegan vegetable broth or beef flavored broth. I have more details about that in my blog post. And we're going to add some red wine, some smoked paprika, and some black pepper to it, and then just whisk this together and set it aside for now. If you don't wanna use red wine, you can skip it, but it adds more depth of flavor, so I would recommend it. Then we're going to take our tempeh and cut it into six even triangles, and we're going to sear it. So this, again, is optional. If you don't wanna sear the tempeh, you don't have to, but if you do decide to, you're just going to add some oil to a pan and then cook it for a few minutes on each side until it's nice and golden brown. Traditional pot roast has more fat in it because beef has fat in it, and tempeh doesn't have as much fat, which is why I decided to sear it first. Otherwise, it tastes a little almost rubbery. But now we are going to make our full pot roast. So you're going to transfer your pot to a slow cooker and add in your onion, your carrots, some gold potatoes, some celery, some garlic, and last but not least, some cremini mushrooms. And then just go ahead and give everything a good mix just so all the vegetables are evenly spread out. And we're going to top it with our seared or unseared tempeh, and then add some fresh thyme and pour that veggie broth slash wine marinade over the top of the tempeh. And then, like most slow cooker recipes, we're just gonna seal it and let it cook for about seven, eight hours. Then once it's done, we have some tender, juicy tempeh and some beautifully cooked vegetables. You're going to remove all this from the slow cooker and you have an option to turn this liquid into a gravy if you would like. So my slow cooker insert can be moved to different surfaces, but if yours isn't, you can just put it into a pot. Either way, you're going to bring this to a boil over medium high heat and remove about half of a cup of the broth and mix it with some arrowroot powder or cornstarch and then whisk that together to form a slurry. And then once everything is nice and even, you're going to add that back into the pot and then whisk this down. The arrowroot powder or cornstarch is going to help thicken the broth to help it make more of a gravy, which is going to be a nice, lovely addition on top of our pot roast to help keep things nice and juicy. And that is it for this meal. So you can go ahead and serve as desired. Top it with your nice golden tempeh. I love how the tempeh cooks with the veggies at the same time because it gets even more infused with flavor. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Leave a comment and let me know which recipe looked the best to you and which one you want to make first. And let me know if you have any other tempeh recipes that you personally love. It's really interesting. I used soy-based tempeh for all these recipes, but it's becoming more popular to make tempeh from other things. I've seen like peanut tempeh, black bean tempeh, hemp made from hemp seeds. It's really cool, but I will say that the bean-based tempehs or the lentil-based ones, their texture is different and they don't tend to hold together as well. Um, it's kind of like spongier, like if you imagine the texture of actual beans. So I would recommend sticking with soy-based tempeh for these recipes because soy is good for you. There's nothing wrong with it. And also it's more widely accessible and generally speaking, always more affordable too. So also as always, all the recipes are going to be linked in the comments below and in the description box below if you want to save them for later or save them to Pinterest or do whatever you do. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling me you want more tempeh recipes or some tempeh recipe suggestions if you would like me to include those in a future video as well. That was a very long ramble, but I really like tempeh. I hope you guys like this video. I love all these recipes and I've made them on multiple occasions and my boyfriend really likes them too and he never had tempeh before we started dating and now he loves it probably just as much as I do. Okay. I'm gonna end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you continue to have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.